Konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be introducing a product that I have been incorporating into my routine lately to achieve this glow as well as a super quick and simple morning skincare routine. If that sounds like your thing then please go ahead and channel toroku shite kudasai. So I have had a few comments on my last few videos of you guys being like, your skin looks so glowy, looks so nice, what foundation are you using and things like that. And this product is probably the thing that has helped me achieve this glowy look and it is the D'Alba White Truffle First Spray Serum. So D'Alba is quite a popular brand in Korea and they have quite the cult following, especially for this particular product. Although they're not that well known globally or on international platforms, so they were kind enough to sponsor this video today so I can show you guys how I have been incorporating their products into my routine as well as how it has been working for my skin. So it is actually a contemporary Italian brand that has collaborated with the beauty manufacturing technology of Korea. It's like two countries coming together in harmony to create something very luxe and beautiful and bougie. <laughs> and they use their signature ingredient of white truffles that are found in Italy in all of their products. So white truffles are actually really beneficial to your skin. They are a naturally anti-aging ingredient since they stimulate cell renewal, helps brighten skin, helps the elasticity and the firmness of your skin as well. All of their products are also free from alcohol, parabens, mineral oil, silicone, synthetic dyes and fragrances, and it is also cruelty free. Yeah. So the star product, the White Truffle First Spray Serum, apparently went viral across Korea because it was revealed that a lot of cabin attendants or what do you call them? Airline hostesses would use this serum while on flight. You know how dry can be on the airplane. And apparently this was what they use a lot of the time to replenish their skin. And from what I have seen, those Korean air hostesses have like flawless skin so I believe it. So this is essentially like a biphase glowy spray serum. The first oil layer is actually avocado oil which is full of essential fatty acids to moisturize and then the water layer, the second layer, is full of the white truffle extract that we spoke about earlier. It also has other amazing ingredients like niacinamide, everyone's favorite, to help brighten skin and even texture, adenosine to help soothe the skin and also hyaluronic acid of course to hydrate our skin. So I absolutely do love the multi-functioning kind of properties of this product. You can use it as a toner and serum in one if you have slightly oilier skin. Once you finish washing your face, you can just spray this and that's your toner and serum in one together. If you have slightly drier skin like me, you can put on your toner first and then use this like a serum step. You can also use this by spritzing it on your body as well as your hair. It can also act as a replenishing and refreshing kind of mist throughout the day. And my favorite way to use it is actually using it as a glowing setting spray after your makeup. I have already done it today, as you can probably tell, because look at this glow. But you can really see the difference of before and after when I use this spray. It's nice because you can use it throughout the day as well. And it really does not disrupt your makeup or melt it or anything. So let's go for another spritz. I should probably slow down on using it because I'm going to use it up super quick. Mm. Yeah, look at that glow. Look at that glow. So I'll actually show you guys how I've been using it in a super simple and quick morning skincare routine along with other products from the D'Alba range. So this routine has been working really well for me lately because I actually went from working only once a week to full-time hours again because of COVID. This means I have very little time in the morning, so it's great to have a very short and quick but effective skincare routine. And it also has been great under wearing masks. I am wearing them again 10 hours a day, every day for like five days a week. Yes, it is congested under that mask. So this routine has been working really well to keep my skin under control under masks as well. So let's get into the routine. First thing, I am going to be splashing my face with some lukewarm water and then taking a pump of the Peptide Node Sebum Mild Gel Cleanser. So this is a mildly acidic low pH cleanser of pH 5.5. I initially thought it was just a second step cleanse like a water-based cleanser, but it does actually use coconut oil derived surfactant, so you can use it as a first step cleanse to remove your makeup as well. To remove makeup, apply it directly onto your face, massage it and then wash it off. But since I am using it in the morning as an AM cleanser, I am going to foam it up in my palms before applying it onto my face. 
I actually hadn't been cleansing my face with any cleanser in the morning for the past couple of months but as I said earlier I have recently gone back to work and back to wearing masks every day so I'm trying to cleanse my face with something light in the morning so I can get rid of any excess oil that might build up throughout the day under my mask. I have been enjoying this cleanser since it is really gentle and does not leave the skin feeling tight and dry but it does include a blend of natural and very gentle exfoliants to keep blackheads and oil at bay. It includes betaine salicylate which is a gentle BHA as well as papaya extract and willow bark. Another star ingredient is peptides. This is definitely one of my go-to anti-aging ingredients since it is a very gentle and something that naturally occurs in our skin. It is great in delivering moisture, nutrients and elasticity into the deeper layers of our skin. In fact, the whole peptide no sebum range that I am using in this skincare routine is anti-aging skincare for oily combination skin, which is honestly genius. I think this has always been a gap in the market. I am 27 this year and I feel like I definitely need to start using more anti-aging products but they often are very heavy and rich so it can be a little intimidating for people with oily skin to try anti-aging products but all of the products in the peptide no sebum range are really nice lightweight formulas that work great for morning use warmer seasons under masks but they are not so lightweight that even someone like me with dehydrated and slightly dry skin can't use once i've washed off the cleanser i'm going to gently pat dry my skin with a towel it does not have to be completely dry slightly damp is good to retain the hydration next i'll be taking the peptide no sebum balancing toner i love this product you can probably tell from how much i've used it already from the first time i used it i could tell it was very replenishing and it absorbed into my skin incredibly easily it wasn't drying but not overly greasy or moisturizing as well first i am going to put some on a cotton and swipe this can definitely be enough for people who have oilier skin and sometimes i will go with just this as well when i am feeling Feeling a little bit drier I will apply a second layer with the palms of my hands and really let it seep into my skin. I feel like it just truly balances my skin and preps it which is exactly what a toner should do. It does have similar ingredients to the other products like white truffle, niacinamide, adenosine, BHA and hyaluronic acid but this one also includes pearl extract which is rich in antioxidants and amino acids so it helps brighten the skin as well. Now this is where I will apply my first spray serum. I love a applying it in this step because I have slightly drier skin so it's always good to prep my skin with toner first and it adds that little bit of extra moisture for me. I love how quick and efficient it is and the mist it's so fine it's really really fine and it spreads the product very evenly across the face. It also has a beautiful scent. I don't even know how to explain it it's just really like nice and gentle and elegant and classy and it reminds me of something from japan i don't know what it is but it just smells super super nice the fine mist combined with the subtle fragrance really makes it an enjoyable and relaxing step of the skincare routine we are now going in with the peptide no sebum repair cream this is a lotion type lightweight formula that is fast absorbing without any greasiness this is also a slightly acidic formula of ph 6.5 which helps prevent bacteria from breeding hence wearing really well under a mask. It includes a lot of the previously mentioned ingredients as part of the peptide no sebum range but also includes calamine powder which helps to soothe skin. And apparently this product is actually a dupe for the drunk elephant proteiny cream. Personally I have never tried it because it is actually not available in Australia and it is hella expensive but this Alba one is actually $28 for the same size as the drunk elephant which is 68 so if you're looking for a replacement for some reason if you're not buying drunk elephant anymore or looking for something that's a lot cheaper it is a great dupe for that as well after using this cream twice a day for the last few weeks I feel like my cheeks are definitely a lot more plump and full and firm so I have been enjoying the benefits of the peptides while it is still a lightweight formula that works great under masks and of course last but not least no morning routine can be complete without a sunscreen this is the UV essence waterfall plus sun cream in SPF 50 plus with PA plus 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 this is one of the most lightweight sunscreens I have ever used it might even be more lightweight than the Biore one it is 
super smooth, melts into the skin, no white cast, completely invisible finish. And it does also have soothing and calming ingredients like Centella Asiatica and Hutunia Cordata. So I definitely have been reaching for it very often these mornings. And that is it. That is my super simple five step morning routine. I love it because I think it would work for so many different skin types like oily, combo, mature skin, dry skin, and for skin under musk, which is a very important one lately. And even though I was saying it's kind of bougie and luxurious, the pricing is not bad at all. As I was saying, the cream is supposed to be like a dupe drunk elephant it is easily half the price the cleanser is gigantic it is going to last you forever and all the products are in between 20 to 30 dollars which is not that expensive let's be honest there's a lot more expensive ones out there for products that are really high quality and really really good ingredients they do sell it on iherb which is awesome especially for international people like me as well as amazon and other retailers so i will leave the links below if you want to check it out anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it and please let me know what your glow recipe is or what products it is that you use to achieve the glow and i'll see you guys in the next one bye